Hi, my name is Dan Evans, and I play the drums. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how drums are related to math. The dimensions of a drum affects the sound very much. For instance, a 14-inch tom, due to its large size and depth, has a lot more air to move inside it, which creates a lower pitch in the tone, compared to a 10-inch tom, due to its very small size and not very large depth, it has a lot less air to move inside it, which creates a higher pitch. Another thing to consider is the size of your stick. For instance, I have two pairs right here, and one you might be able to see is a lot thinner and a little shorter than the other. The other is much thicker and is almost a marching stick size, which are about as thick as you can come. What this affects is mainly on the cymbals is when you hit them, one will create a lot less overtones which means the sound will be a bit more focused and more clear whereas the thicker one because it has more energy in its stick it is able to vibrate the cymbal more thus creating a more overtony sound which is more louder. Another aspect of drumming that relates to math are fills. Fills in a way can be related to addition equations. For instance, let's say you were given two numbers those two numbers happen to equal six. Well, for fills, you can divide these numbers to where you can do, let's say, a popular fill among drummers is you do four on the snare drum and then two on the bass. And once you get up to speed, it can sound really cool with the music you're doing, and you can also apply it to different drums than just on the snare can give you a good effect when you're filling in a song. Fractions also play in music. Another aspect of drumming that can relate to math are exponents. Exponents can tell you how fast you are playing a certain beat and how many times faster you're playing it. For instance, Let's say I'm playing two beats in a measure. A measure, for those who don't know, is like a musical sentence in which you're ending your beat. Let's say I play two beats. If I square this two beats, I'm playing it twice as fast. If I cube this number, I'm then playing four times as fast because if you're multiplying it three times, you are squaring it once, which would make you twice as fast, and because you're multiplying it again by two times, it means you're making it four times fast, which makes, and you can keep going until you, the possible limit is reached. And, and Another example of equations used in drumming is time signatures. When you get into more advanced drumming, you realize that you do not have to drum in just four beats. You can go into many different beats, such as one drummer I listened to, Gavin Harrison, explains a song in 198. What happens is, instead of just counting it 1 through 19, he splits it up, whereas it would be like an equation. He splits it into two sections of 7 and a section of 5. So, in a way, you can think of that as being 7 plus 7 plus 5, which is equal to 19.